if there's one thing I could hope, uh, a lesson I could uh, deliver today is successful investors consistently go against the crowd. You're not always going to be right. You're going to be lonely and often early. Three things, all of which are sort of unpleasant, but I promise you, you'll be more successful than your peer group over time. This is what your peer group is doing. The line on the right is buying bonds. So in the environment that bonds are the most expensive in 60 years, what are investors doing? They can't get enough of them. And not only treasuries, but things like high yield. You're now seeing corporate bonds. Johnson & Johnson issued a 10-year bond at 2.8% unprecedented low yields. How are investors responding? Buying them. The red line is stocks. I've been doing this 27 years. I've never seen this before. What do investors tend to do? Things are doing well. I want to get on board. They're not doing that at all this year. Part of this is you've got the first edge of the leading edge of baby boomers who are over time restructuring their portfolios in terms of less stocks, more bonds. But this is panic. This is investor sentiment which is still incredibly bearish on equities. To us, that's an opportunity. At least as you're looking at your portfolios, I'd be saying, I don't want to do lightening up on the one that everybody wants to buy. This is the overpriced house in the neighborhood. And the fixer upper looks like equities. As for myself, I've been in the position of always arguing that we are here to tell you what tax law is not what we hope tax law might be. So back in 2009, I was advising my clients, telling them, no, it's due to go away. That's what the law says. Well, sure enough, it did. This year, same exact thing is about to happen. January 1, 2013 is looming. And everyone is sitting around wondering, are these changes really going to happen? There's a, a suspension of disbelief going on where people aren't going to believe what's in front of their own eyes. But that's exactly what the law says. It's not what, Paul, do you think is going to happen. I'm telling you what's going to happen. January 1st, the rates are going to go back to the way they used to be. The estate tax law is going to go back to the way it used to be. Gift tax law, everything reverts back. There is no what happens if. That is what's happening. Um, so let's go forward one. But there's a wild card going on as far as tax law changes go, and that's the 2010 Health Care Act. That is over 2,000 pages of uncharted territory that no one really knows what's in it. We do know that there are about 20 or so tax provisions now with the Supreme Court ruling. We know what they are. We can call them what they are. There are tax policy changes in the Health Care Act that are, um, some are unknown, some are very known. We'll talk about some of the ones that are known. 